What do directors Wes Anderson, Terry Gilliam, and Kenneth Lonergan all have in common? A 19-year-old actor who you might not have heard of yet, but you will soon. His name is Lucas Hedges. He is an incredible talent, and he's sitting with me here today. There have been a lot of films about grief. There's been a lot of books about grief. I think it's one of those human conditions that's going to mm. be explored in art until we are no longer. <laughs> what do you think makes Manchester by the Sea a unique experience? It's about a place uh, in Massachusetts and a place in America that I think does a good job of representing how um, men in this country, I mean, I, don't, I can't speak for every man in this country, but how we're raised to deal with our emotions. It can teach us a lot about how um, crippling it is to uh, deny ourselves um, the, the right to cry when, we're, when, when we lose someone. Why do you think humor is such an important part of this film? So this is something Kenny and I talked about a lot. If you have a really great comedy, it's, it has to be rooted in some dramatic truth. And it's the same exact thing for a drama. Uh, no, no great dramas are purely dramatic. We're not going to be here that much longer. I'm not moving to Boston, Uncle No, I don't want to talk about that You right said now. he left you money so you could move. Yeah, that doesn't mean... Anyway, what's in Boston? You're a janitor. So what? You could do that anywhere. There's plenty of toilets and clogged up drains all over town. I don't want to talk All my friends are here. I'm on the hockey team. I'm on the basketball team. I got to maintain our boat now. I work on George's boat two days a week. I got two girlfriends and I'm in a band. You're a Janet and Quincy. What the hell do you care where you live? What were some things about the experience of working with him that were unique for you? I've tried to put it into words what Kenny gave me on this film, and I find it difficult uh, only because it's hard to describe how much he was there for me and how in between every single take, it was almost as though like he was going through the character's journey with me and for me, and as just to support me, I never for a single second felt left behind by him, and I feel that, I felt that way about directors. I feel that some directors are just waiting to finish the scene mm -hmm. so they can move on and don't really feel like protecting their, their actors' performances. Uh, Matt was uh, telling a story the other day that I thought was interesting, which was about Robert Duvall and how Robert Duvall said to him when he was uh, on one of his first films, like, play the contradictions. If, you're, if it's a happy scene, go into the scene sad. Like, walk into the room sad so that you have a place to go. And, and also just like, uh, when you have to cry in a scene, and when, and when we cry in life, it's not because we want to cry, it's because we resist the crying. Manchester by the Sea is devastating and beautiful, and you can see it. It's coming to a theater near you very soon. For more of Lucas Hedges, <laughs> uh, please keep coming back to uprocks.com and Fandemonium.